everybody, this is Carrie here, your NASM certified personal trainer. And today we're just doing a really simple kettlebell, work, kettlebell workout. Um, I have one kettlebell here, it's a 20 pound kettlebell. Um, so something around that size, you could go up to 30, 15, 25, something in there. Um, and that's all you need for today. All right, so let's get started. We're going to do a quick warm up. Um, go ahead, we're going to start with single leg balance reach. So navel to spine, and we're just going to bring that foot out and back. Out, one, two, three, and back. Out, one, two, three, and back. And while you're doing this, please make sure that your foot is pointed forward. I know that's a big thing that I emphasize in my workouts, but if you're noticing that external hip rotation and your foot pointed to the side, go ahead and just draw it back. So it's in alignment, both feet pointed forward all the time. That's what we want to see. Awesome. One more. Perfect. Okay. And switch sides. Single leg balance reach is really great um, balance work. And it, it's also helpful for alignment. So if you have any issues like that external foot rotation, um, it's, it's a good one to put into your weekly routine just to work on. Perfect. We're doing about eight on each side. And down, out, one, two, three, and down, out, one, two, three, and down, out, one, two, three, and down. And secondly, we will just warm up with a quick bear crawl. So I want you on your hands and knees, knees up just about an inch above your mat. Navel to spine, here we go. Opposing arms and legs will move together. The length of your mat, if you have one. Breathing here, good work. And one last time up. And back. All right. Now that we're warmed up, we're going to use our kettlebells and do a quick workout. We'll just be doing a few exercises in a row, circuit style, sets of 20. We'll take a quick rest, we'll repeat, and then we'll be on our way. All right. Starting off, we'll do goblet squats. Feet apart, feet pointed forward, navel to spine. Kettlebell comes up and squat. Good job, I know you're working hard. <laughs> Perfect, and feet come out into plie squat. Navel to spine. Pelvis in neutral. Great work. Last three, two, one. Good job. All right. Next, we'll come into your kettlebell deadlift. You can go ahead and put your kettlebell right there. Navel to spine for me. Slight bend in the knees. This is where it would be nice to have more weight um, if you were truly doing like a, a high strength workout. But this is still effective even with a low weight. When you go down, think about inching down, right here in the hamstring, yep, yeah, and then back up. Inch, 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 and back up. Mm -hmm. 
not locking the knees. Shoulders in alignment, not slumping forward. in alignment and one perfect next we'll do figure eight crouching down a little bit feet pointed forward and we'll take that kettlebell around Let's reverse. Let's see here. <laughs> I always have to think about that. Strong work, everybody. Just a couple more exercises and then we'll rest. One more. Perfect. All right. And now into our kettlebell swing. So we'll have our feet about the width of your mat apart in a squat stance. And we'll go down and swing up. Back is strong. Navel the spine. Core engaged. Elbows not locking. Good job. Last three, two, and one. And finishing with high pulls. Navel the spine. So I'm not standing like this. No, I'm not standing like this. I'm in neutral, okay? Engaging your core here. Good work, everybody. Strong upper body. Feet pointed forward. Almost there. <laughs> I'm breathing hard. I don't know if you are. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Go ahead and set your weight down. Get a drink of water if you would like. We are going to take a full 60 second rest here. So here is springtime. We've been doing a lot of gardening at my house, which we always like to do, but we're probably doing even more of this year with the quarantine. And <laughs> let me tell you, a lot of that is kind of like a workout. You think, okay, I'll just get my workout in at the end of the day or whatever, but if you've been hauling wheelbarrow is full of rocks all morning, <laughs> doing a workout is less enticing. So I like to, try to get my workout in no later than noon on, on most days. I just find that I can most of the time round up energy to mow the lawn if I need to, but it's harder for me to round up energy to do a hard, uh, like a fast mile or something like that later in the day. Um, so I don't know, that's what works for me, but you have to find what works for you. All right, here we go. We're gonna start back from the top, goblet squats. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart, Toes are pointed forward. Good, navel to spine.
Great, and then do plie squats, turning your feet out, widening your stance, and down. Navel to spine, thighs come just about parallel to the floor. <laughs> That's just a package. No big deal. Thank goodness for the UPS drivers right now. Oh my goodness, they are working so hard. As well as the health care and the grocery workers. Good, and last one into our kettlebell deadlifts. And put your weight down, navel the spine here. Here we go. Knees aren't locked, the legs are basically straight. Pinching down and back. Awesome, last three, two, and one. Perfect, into your figure eight, feet come forward again. There's a lot of other moves you can do with a kettlebell. Um, you can actually work like your whole body, but the more advanced you get, the more you generally will end up needing different sizes of kettlebell weights. So if you're like me and you're like, well, I have one <laughs> when I'm not at my working out at my regular gym space or when I'm having to work out at home for whatever reason, um, then I like to keep the moves a little bit more simple. But if you have a full set of kettlebells at home or um, at the gym, then there's a lot of other cool moves you can do. So we'll do more videos on that in the future. <laughs> All right, let's reverse. Good job, last three, two, and one. Nice work. We're gonna go right into our kettlebell swings. Feet point forward. Bend knees and swing. Navel to spine. Checking that your knees aren't coming out over your toes. into our high poles to finish and we'll do a quick stretch and send you on your way. Breathing here but again engaging that core. There's one thing I tell my clients all the time it's that your core is always working. Think of it all day long your core has a job. So if you're getting groceries your core has a job. If you're working out, your core has a job. If you're picking up your toddler, your core has a job. <laughs> if you're standing, your core has a job. So I'll do another video soon about compensations, um, but one really common one I see is a, a pelvic anterior tilt, which is just when you see people standing with their core out of alignment, with their pelvis out of alignment, so it's not in neutral. 
and I'll show you when we finish this. And we're on the last four, three, two, one. Perfect, good work, everybody. Virtual high five. So public interior tilt is when instead of standing in neutral, you see people like that. And honestly, this is a little exaggerated, but start to look around and you will see this all the time. So when, you, when you're catching yourself kind of in that stance, oh, I'm just standing here. Oh, I'm gonna bring my butt in. <laughs> going to, as if my pelvis is holding a bowl of soup, I'm going to tuck that, bring my navel to spine, turn on these intrinsic core stabilizers in the transverse abdominis and be in neutral, okay? And I, and I don't mean like a, like a posterior tilt where you're like this, although that's rare. Don't overcompensate that way, but just bring it back to neutral. All right, let's finish with a quick quad stretch. You can put an arm up if you would like for balance or just hand on your hip. Navel to spine here. Looks good. Nice work, everyone. You just did a really quick but hard kettlebell workout. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Got after it today. And honestly, that's often all it takes. I mean, ideally, it's awesome when we have an hour or a couple hours to exercise. That is great. And many of us have had that before, you know, in college or sometimes other times of life. And that's awesome. But a lot of times, like just think, 20 minutes, you can get a lot done in 20 minutes. So if you feel overwhelmed that you're like, I don't have the time to, to like really get after it, it's like, well, can you put on clothes and get sweaty for 20 minutes? Workout clothes, <laughs> any clothes? I think you probably can. And that'll be a lot more effective for you in the long run than like a 90 minute slow walk or, or slow jog or something like that. Like really getting after it for a short amount of time, it does a lot for your body um, and for your lean muscle mass and your metabolism. So you got this people. All right, thanks for working out with me today.